Hi guys, my name is Deb Marnie and I'm from Aussie Mail and welcome to our Chainmail tutorial channel. Hey guys, a big hi, hello, welcome, how are you today? Thanks for popping in and spending some time with me. So today I've got a weave demonstration and it is for the butterfly weave, which is quite an easy but very effective weave. I'm sure you guys will love this. So let's jump straight into it, shall we? Okay guys, so I've got some sample pieces to show you today of the weave. And we'll just go through the sizes that I used. Coming up on the screen will also be a list of the suggested sizes, as well as they will be delisted down in the description section below the video. But just to run through them quickly with you, uh, this version over here, the Mobius flowers, the bright aluminium rings here, these ones are 14 gauge AWG 1.6 millimeter diameter wire, and they have a ring ID of 5 sixteenths of an inch or 7.94 millimeters. Uh, the colored rings, the anodized rings are 16 gauge AWG 1.2 millimeter diameter wire. They have a ring ID of 3 sixteenths of an inch or 4.76 millimeter ID. The next one, the silver rings, the bright aluminium rings are 16 gauge AWG one quarter of an inch or 6.35 millimeter ID rings and the colored rings are 18 gauge AWG 1.0 millimeter diameter wire with a ring ID of 5 30 seconds of an inch or 3.97 millimeters and then the last one the Mobius uh, rings the silver rings are 18 gauge AWG sorry 3 sixteenths of an inch 4.76 millimeters and the colored rings are 20 gauge AWG, which is 0.8 millimeter diameter wire with a ring ID of 1 8th of an inch or 3.18 millimeters. Okay, now you can make these um, Mobius sections with larger rings. I wouldn't go smaller than the rings that I've suggested here, but uh, if you don't have the ring ID, to match the Mobius rings, I would, you can definitely use different size rings. The important sizes here are the anodized rings and the gauges the combination that, that you use. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do this today with the uh, 14 and the 16 gauge version. So to start with, we're going to create a three ring Mobius unit. And we do that with our larger rings which in this case were the 1.6 millimeter with the 5 sixteenths of an inch ID, okay? So we just put two rings together. We sit them nestled together like that and we pick up both of those rings as well, okay? And we want them to nestle inside of each other just like that. What we're going to do next, once we've got our Mobius in place, we're going to pick up the 3 sixteenths of an inch rings and we're going to add eight of these to our Mobius unit. So you just do that by going through all three rings, making sure that you've got the Mobius uh, sitting in pattern first and then go through and put eight of your colored rings through the Mobius. Okay, so if you want to go ahead and just finish up doing that and I'll meet you back here to uh, show you the next step. Okay, so this is what our work should be looking like now. You've got your Mobius center and you've got your eight rings attached, four on each side. So our next step is to take up another one of your colored rings and we're going to put it through two of our rings that are already in weave. We're gonna close that up. And we're going to do that all the way around. Okay, so once you've placed all those four rings, making uh, two sets of two, we're going to separate that out 
then our next ring is going to go through the two middle rings here. So we've got one, two, three, four of our rings coming off our Mobius. We're going to place our new ring through rings two and three. Okay, just like that. Okay, so your work looks like this. And then we're going to flip it over and we're going to do the same on the other side. Picking up rings two and three in our four. Okay, and then we're going to do the same to the other pair that we've got coming off. So again, take up an opened ring, feed it through rings two and three on one side. Flip your work over and feed it through the same rings on the other side. Okay. And that's it. That is one butterfly unit. And then what you do once you've made up a handful of those, you join them together. So I'm just going to join it to uh, this one here that I started previously. Now, the joining at this size, I didn't find it so much with the other gauges, but with this size, the joining rings are a little snug. So if you're having difficulty at this stage using the 3 sixteenths, you might want to bump your joining rings up to a slightly larger size. Um, it may mean that they may not be coloured, but that's okay. It can certainly be part of the pattern. It's uh, not necessary. I'm going to show you with the 3 sixteenths so you can see that it is a little snug, but it is certainly doable. So what we want to do is you want to, you can see here in our unit that we've got an eye here where all our rings overlap and an eye here. And that is where we're going to put our joining rings through both of those eyes. That's how we join our units together. So to do that, I'm just going to go through that eye, making sure I pick up all three rings. You can see there's three rings in there. I'm going to pick up all three rings. And then before I close it, I'm going to put that ring through the same path on one of our other units. And then I'm going to close that up. So you can see that this is quite a tight fit. You will need small fine tip pliers. So as I said, if you have difficulty doing this, if you don't like your chainmail to be so tight as this, make this joining ring slightly larger. But as you can see, it is doable. You just need to take care. So we've added one joining ring and we're going to add one on the other side. So through one set of three, bring it around go through the set of three on the other unit and then carefully bring those rings together and it's you've joined your unit up and that's it guys you just need to do that for the length of whatever it is you're using your bracelet choker necklace whatever it is that you want to use to make up the uh, butterfly weave but it's quite effective. As I said, you can make the joining rings, you can make the joining rings the same color as your Mobius. You could make the Mobius rings colored and the wings plain. Um, that is totally up to you. But it's a sweet little weave that isn't too difficult to put together. Okay guys, well that's it. That is our video tutorial today. I hope you enjoyed it and it enabled you to add another weave to your repertoire. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up here on YouTube. Share the video if you like. Uh, leave any comments or questions you may have down below in the comment section. 
check out some of our other videos while we are here. If you're not a subscriber, you might want to consider doing that for us. And last but not least, guys, don't forget to give our shop link up here a little click. That's where you'll find all the bits and bobs and you know what's that you're going to need to make up this weave and many others. All right, guys, thanks so much for popping in. I hope you are all keeping safe and I will see you again sometime in the very near future. Bye.